Now, I didn't intend for this to be recorded directly from my webcam. My intentions were to actually record it through iMovie. Problem is that YouTube's a slow motherfucker. I made multiple attempts to record this very same video with the same concepts, same ideas, of saying the same shit. However, I had to do it twice in two hour periods. In the last few minutes, it wouldn't fucking work. I'm guessing it's because of this bipolar weather we're having right now, but nonetheless. Now let's draw the dichotomy between left anarchists and right anarchists. Now we all know that there's this aspect of archons, rulings, hierarchies, things like that. The difference between a leader and ruler is simple. If you're being followed, if you have followers, if you're following someone, that person is a leader. Where ruling is the right to rule. When you're a ruler, you're a person that has the right to rule, and you use that right, basically. Or you don't have to. But basically, you have that right to rule, to make the laws and registrations and enforce shit. And that's kind of where this possessive government kind of gets its complexities. Which is what Grog said, or Aaron Jacobs. However, what separates the left anarchists and the right anarchists, they both are against de jure rulings, which is basically, the best way to describe it, it's kind of like de jure rights for any social laws. Or nowadays, we consider gay marriage a law because a right, the basic human right, along with a lot of other stuff like stuff like segregation, is a human rights violation to us. However, it's based on de jure rights and not stuff based based on facts. Like, does this take things from other people? Is this an act of theft? Because if it is an act of theft, you can't say it's your right because you're stealing something from someone else. Which wouldn't make any sense to call it a right. So and both anarchists of left and right do oppose de jure rulings. Where it's sort of distinct is de facto stuff. I mean, in nature, you have systems of ruling other people. Or other animals. Maybe not all species, but again, that's the tragedy of the commons at play. And that's kind of where anarchism gets its... Left anarchism gets its issue. It doesn't like de facto rulings. Stuff that exists from fact. The right to rule. So that means that it must enforce the idea of making the world flat, and they can do that, but it has to do a couple of things. It has to lower human interaction so that the tragedy of commons don't, doesn't come into play, and that might make other things complicated, it might complicate other shit. Uh, what else would it do? Well, it would also lead to a position where you can use the state to do this because they have different principles their principle is making the world flat unlike an NAP or a self ownership principle that you might find on the right and uh... so they can use the state not as a an authority but as a system for the public to make everybody else flat everybody else the same uh, some places where this concept is at play, some forms of left anarchism, I don't know about mutualism, but I know collectivism, syndicalism, and some anarcho-socialism, but not all of it. And on the right side, you got market anarchism, and caps, and fucking anarcho monarchists so you got a lot in both sides of types of anarchisms. 
it's not as assorted as people say it is, but yeah, there is like an there is an assortment. Is this top gun? What what does this jacket represent anyway? It's like this wannabe Adidas jacket. No, no, it's right here. Anyway, and going into like deeper concepts. Now I'm still anarchist. However. I'm not as absolute on anti-statism. I feel like anti-statism isn't an a priori thing. What's an a priori thing in society? Well, it's a subject that acts. I could tear weird or something like that. Man acts. That's basically the only like real building block I can find. People that are acting doing something. <sighs> now another thing I'd like to say, when I made a response to Grog, how he rectified a lot of the problems of statism, I like the contrast and how this is an alternative thing to minarchism, because I felt like minarchism eventually becomes... It, well, just like what I said with Thomas Paine's common sense or in that the second version of that video I basically spoke about how eventually you get stuff like military industrial complexes and how just because there's no king that doesn't mean that, that tyranny is going to be prevented it's just gonna and he and Grog managed to find a solution to that in a way because it feels like by trying to limit the state, you're actually making the bureaucracy bigger. So I thought that was kind of cool. Like, other than that, I feel like politics is very egocentric to me. I mean, that's like my problem nowadays. It's very egocentric. That's why I can't like bother looking at the news and shit and seeing what these politicians have to say because. I just saw Obama's speech like earlier in September and that was ass. If you enjoy that then you're a fucking idiot. Unless you're enjoying it for different reasons. If you're thinking that he's actually saying something brilliant then there's no hope for you because this guy's just... I wouldn't even say it's the political rhetoric but that's basically it. Everything he says is political rhetoric. And it's very egocentric. That's the big problem I have with it. He's supposed to be this white knight for America. This black white knight. <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, that's kind of weird, but people who actually buy into what he says, they actually feel for what he says, even though he's spending a lot of time saying a whole lot of nothing. I mean, you can tell me he's saying this, but he's not really saying it if you pay attention to what he's actually saying. All these dramatic things he says at the end of every sentence and then people cheer, those are just buzzwords he's throwing around most of the time. And every time he makes an appeal to homosexuality and the whole, this new social issue that they're throwing out, it's kind of ridiculous. It's, it's a joke. Last but not least, hmm. Yeah. And if it isn't these white knight guys, it's a lot of these wannabe alphas, these Clinton niggas. And it's really pissing me off how everybody's supposed to be this egocentric person. They would they wanna like rectify the problems of America's past, like we as people wanna rectify issues with past our past people, and we do it with new people as idealized versions of ourselves, whether being white knights or alpha male wannabes. And that's what these politicians are doing in a way. They're just applying it instead of just to their personal selves towards a nation. And since we already know in the scale of just ourselves it's a mess, imagine how it works for a whole fucking nation. It's a big mess, that's what it is. And I don't like it. Anyway, suck my dick. <laughs>